Darren, thanks very much for coming down to chat to us. I'm sure Saturday is already in your mind. Only one defeat in your group against a much fancied Napierschik team. That must give you great confidence going into Saturday. Yeah, and even at Napierschik match, like, to be fair, I don't think we were at the race ourselves. Like, we weren't hurting as well as we want to be. But then they kind of slipped up against the there, and then we could have we could have qualified first if we, we were messing around and stuff. We'd messing with score difference, and that's what we lost out in the top place. But look, I think even last year we had a quarter final against Dune as well, so I think quarter final sent us better. So hopefully, you know, it'll be, it's still it'll be a tough match. So look, bring it on. We're looking forward to it. And for you personally, seven points in the under 21 final, five from play, man of the match performance. You're really coming into this in great form. Sure, it's all done with now. Yeah, everything's back focused on the club now. Like the club is where you do everything. It's all the hurling. Like winning with Limerick is great, but even last year I've said it to everyone I've talked about. Like there's nothing compares to winning a party swell, and that's what we want to be doing is winning. Keen Lynch. Now you're building up a good relationship with Keen in the half forward line, both on the inter county scene and the club scene. For you, how beneficial is it to have a club mate playing with you on the Limerick team? Sure, like every age I've played with Patchwell or every team I've played with, like even going back to school with Ardis and with Mary I, like me and Keane have always been on the same team and I'd be good friends with him, like, so I'd know him well. But, like, I think I just, maybe more than anyone else, I'm so used to him, like, so I just kind of have an idea what he's already going to do, but like, he's like a magician, he can do anything with the ball at all. He's probably the best hurler I've ever played with. Like. How different is preparation for a Limerick match compared to a Patrick's Well match? With Limerick, it's a bit more professional, but in saying that now as well, the club is it's coming on as well. It's becoming more professional too. They're always onto us about eating right and all that, but you have to be doing that yourself anyway because you're only fooling yourself for that. So, and of course, it's a repeat of last year's final in which you comfortably defeated Bally Brown. You're chasing the John Daly Cup two years in a row. Is there any risk of complacency slipping in with this heavy favourites tag? There's no point looking towards the semi-final or the final yet. Like we have to get over Saturday. And I suppose Saturday is going to be an exciting game like, as we can kind of try and prove to people now that last year wasn't a fluke and then you know, I suppose on the other side, on the other side like Belly Brown can prove that they're better than they were last year so you know, it should be a good game now for anyone watching on. And it's genuine local rivalry, both teams pulling from the same parish, does that give an extra bite to it? Uh, it does yeah, like we all know each other so like, you could meet them down the road there one day in the shop so you will not have the bragging rights saying oh we're after beating you two years in a row or whatever they could back and say the same to us, so both of us don't want that to happen. Victory in this year's county championship would crown Patrick's well the most successful club in Limerick. Does that give you added motivation to really cement your names in the history books of Patrick's well? It does, like, but you don't want to be, you want to be going around saying it, like, you'll say it within your own little circle of a team, like, like, we hadn't, up to last year, we hadn't won a county championship in 13 years, and that's way too long for Patrick's well, like, we grew up, like if you look in the clubhouse there, all the pictures on the wall, they were winning county championship every single year. Like the likes of Kiran, Gary, Phil Binnis, all them, like even back in their time, they were winning every year, so we try not, we have to try and make that a habit now as well. What does Patrick's Well GA mean to you? Um, I think from this you you surely know it means everything to me by now. Like like growing up, all you want to do is play a Patrick's Well, like all Limerick and schools and colleges and win all that. That just falls into place, but when we're party as well, it's where you want to be. Like it's everyone you've ever grew up with. You went to school with them. They're our best friends. You spend every day with them. And like even last year when we won a party as well, like the few days after and stuff, and the weeks and months after, it's just the best feeling ever. Like walking around and see how how happy people are around the streets, and it genuinely gives the whole village a lift. So I just can't beat that. Like.